I want to just say something about risk, okay? Uh, just an important lesson that I want you to come away with. Again, uh, risk control and respecting risk. Now, people say, yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to respect risk. I just put a stop. But, but no, you need to understand risk, first of all, is a vague term, okay? What is risk? I mean, typically, when you translate it into markets, it means your potential loss. Now, no one really wants to care. No one cares really too much about a potential loss because we're here to win, right? Well, you need to focus, especially in this environment, on your potential loss. But yeah, sure, we all know that. Uh, so what's the point here? The point that I want to make is this. Risk is uh, a proportion or, or it can be categorized by the time frame that you're operating within. So each time frame has its own risk parameters. You need to know this. Not only do you need to know this, you need to respect it, okay? So let me give you an example. Day trades have their own risk profile. Swing trades have their own risk profile. And position trades, which are like investments, also have their own risk profile. If you don't know one from the other, then the mistake that you're going to make is this. You start out with a day trade, okay? Or you have no definition of your time frame. You just take a trade because some fake guru told you to take a trade. So you take the trade, okay? The trade goes red. And you're like, oh, well, uh, I guess it was supposed to be a day trade, but uh, I'll wait till it comes back. So I'm going to make it a swing trade now. But still, you're not placing a stop loss order. You're just saying, well, if it goes, you know, a little bit more against me, I'll get out. And then it goes a little bit more against you, okay? And now you say, well, I'm going to, uh, this will be an investment. It'll be an investment. And then I'll get out when it goes green. You know, it'll eventually get green, you know, and, and I'll get out. You just went from day trade risk, which is proportionally small, to investment risk, which is huge relative to day trade risk, okay? So you need to understand that magnitude of risk before you take the trade. That's why I always tell people, know the type of trade you're interested in taking. And that's the type of trade, that's the type of opportunity you are seeking out in the market. Now, the signals that I typically share are swing trades. So they have their own specific risk parameters. If you don't respect them, they can get out of hand and they can get they can cost you a lot of money. Now, again, here, let me show you this Netflix example. So now let's just talk about risk profile, all right? Now, this is a weekly chart on a Netflix. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull out this little highlighter and I want to talk about this section up here. Now, of course, we're looking at this after the fact so we can see the result. But when you don't know the result and Netflix was here going back a few months, right? Going back to like November, December, when, when everyone was still in party mode and the Fed hasn't had not made their 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 moves yet or I had announced them yet we that uh, geopolitical stuff in Ukraine had not occurred yet no one was calling for that so everyone thinks oh I'm buying the pullback right my fake guru told me to buy the pullback here's the pullback okay that's a fair assessment at this point because the structure is bullish but again this is weekly so if you're thinking investment right which is typical of the weekly time frame okay that makes sense but where is your risk defined? You can use these weekly lows on this chart. Now, if you had used something like that, that right there would have told you to get out, okay? So if you made an investment or um, you know, perhaps you invested a small amount or maybe it was such a small amount that you were willing to take a broader risk and say, well, who cares if this thing gets cut in half? It's Netflix, I wanna own some, that's another story. But if you're like, no, I'm going to start out with this investment, but you know, I want to put it in at a time where it's going to be somewhat stable. This would say right here, you're wrong and you need to get out. But if you don't have that properly defined, or let's just say, all right, forget investment. Let's just say you took a swing trade because that would be a little more realistic. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take a swing trade. Okay. And it starts to work out. And then you get that red candle right there on the weekly. The party's over right? You take your loss and you avoid this, okay? But I'm going to tell you what typically happens. The, in the, the novice mindset or the inexperienced mindset is this. Oh, it's Netflix. It'll come back. It'll come back, right? It, it'll, it'll come back, right? 
Right, right. And then it goes here. Okay, so you're in from 600, and this thing is now putting in a low at 351, you know, a few weeks after. And you're still in it, and you're watching your account shrink, and you're like, oh, well, I don't want to miss the bounce. Because if I get out and take this loss, I'm going to miss the bounce all the way back to 600, and I'm going to feel so bad. So I'm going to hold on. It's Netflix, okay? And then, you know, you see some green action falling. See, I was right. I was right. It's going to bounce. It's going to bounce. And now you're here. Okay. No one sees that coming. The point is this. By not taking your loss early up here where the market said take your loss early, you expose yourself to this entire thing here. Okay. This. That is what you need to understand about respecting risk. You open yourself up to that when you mix time frames. I, I personally, when I look for shorts, I mean, if, if I go for an aggressive short, like in another instrument, like the S&P, I know what can go wrong. And if it goes wrong, I'm out quickly, right? That's all you can do. And that's called adjusting. You don't sit there and say, well, I'm going to hold on to the stop. If there's a buy signal after you take the short, you get out because there shouldn't be a buy signal. People like, you know, they're always, I want a 99% win rate system, even if you had such a system. OK, which no one gives away, by the way, and no one sells such a system, um, even if you had one, if you are incapable of managing risk and you don't manage risk properly, no matter what you make, you're going to give it back. OK, so it doesn't matter what you make. If you make ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, and then the next trade, you give back one hundred dollars, you're just wasting your time. OK. So that's the key to the whole thing is protecting your capital and always focusing on the risk first. That's why I say that. No one wants to hear it, but that's the reality. If you enjoyed that video, click here to see another. Or if you want to see a full analysis stream, click right over here. Thanks for watching.